<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Seat's Mika Rorum figure. I think it looks amazing. Just the colors, the sculpt is phenomenal. And then it's got quills on its head. I'm not sure if the CS Mika Rorum was known to have those. I don't really know much about it. So let's get this thing out of the box. Well, first, let's take a look at the box. It doesn't make noise, unfortunately. That's kind of a shame. That's the action. There's Claire Blue CS Mika Rorum. The Primal Attack background. And here's the back of the box. Otherwise, you can get Tarbosaurus and Sarcosuchus. They had no Sarcosuchus, but they had a ton of Tarbosaurus. But I wanted the Seats more than anything, so... Seats. That's my new favorite word now, Seats. Okay. Oh, you're pulling a Control and Conquer Carnotaurus on me. There we go, it's out of the box. My mom's totally safe kitchen scissors that she doesn't know I have. And her room is right next to mine, so I just told her everything. Anyway, here is the Seat Mika Rorum figure. I think it looks amazing. The sculpt looks great, the colors are amazing. Ever since Dinosaur Discovery showed, shared a picture of made the video of Mattel revealing this, uh, an image of this figure in the box. I wanted it, and now I have it, finally. So there's, here's the action feature. It works just like the Control and Conquer Carnal, except it doesn't make a noise. You press a button on the tail. You can move the tail to move the head. Hmm. Doesn't close all the way without you forcing it shut. Um, one thing I noticed was that it has two teeth that stand out. Like right here and here. They look sort of like elephant tusks, actually, sort of. Um, now let's take a look at the eye. The eye looks pretty good, as far as I can tell. Is the other one going to be the same? Let's see. Yeah, the other eye is the same. So the eyes are done pretty well. For some reason, this foot on mine feels a little loose. Um, I don't know if that it's supposed to be like that or not. Probably not. But yeah, this thing looks amazing. If you look on the back, it might be a little hard to see, but the quills are on their own, like, little piece on the back and on the back of the head and on the neck. That's pretty cool. The sculpt on this thing just feels amazing, and, um, and I have no room to put this thing. So, yeah, that may or may not be an issue. Yeah, the sculpt looks... The tongue is perfectly painted. The arms can move like that. Dang it, they are stiff. And the feet can move... Whoa. I don't think you can move out the legs. They are just locked in place. So yeah, it's like... Its color scheme is really similar to the Allosaurus from Battle of Big Rock. That's probably just a coincidence. Uh, apart from the grays on the tail and the legs, I think it looks a lot like the Allosaur from Battle of Big Rock. But I think it looks a little better. And I... The sculpt is probably the best thing about this figure. It just... It's amazing. It looks really good. 
And I've been wanting this figure ever since Mattel revealed it to the public. So that's going to wrap it up for this review, guys. Hi, everybody. Hi, MSG. That's me, Aurora. And now I'm going to eat you. Well, you can start by eating my sister. So, there you go, guys. So here's the C This is my full review of the Seat's Mika Rorum figure. I've been wanting one of these for ages, and now I finally got it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss any new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.